welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and this is Ted and today we want to show you how to make our slow cooked chicken tikka masala. As I just mentioned today I'm going to be making a slow cooked chicken tikka masala. Now this recipe is really easy and it's been made even easier by my slow cooker. I'm going to be cooking this in my slow cooker today because as a busy mum of one I, <laughs> I sometimes need quick and easy meals and this is a really quick and easy meal. So while I was making it, I thought I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my really quick and easy slow cooker chicken tikka masala. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make our masala paste. So I have all of the spices here and the other condiments that I'm going to need. So the first thing we're going to do, do is it. put in a teaspoon of garam masala. Garam masala! <laughs> into the... I'm going to mix it in here. That's right, do half and then do another half. So that's it. So I'm just going to put that this into a... Yeah, that would be enough, wouldn't it? So, um, so we're just using a small mixing bowl here and then we've got a teaspoon of turmeric as well, or turmeric. Turmeric! Uh, you might want to chuck that all in as well, so you may not be able to get that up. Cool. Yep, we are running out of things. Then we've got sort of a teaspoon of ground coriander. I'll just pour that all in. Yeah, just pour that in, Ted. Um, and then we have, do you want to do a teaspoon of ground sweet cinnamon or you can use ground cinnamon as well if you I'm want about to. I'm switch. Yep, so put a teaspoon of that in. And then we have a teaspoon of ground cumin going in as well. So there's quite a lot of spices in here. But we do like spice in this we house. Do. I don't like spice. And I do use these for a lot of my meals as well. So if you're worried that you're buying like a whole jar of this and you're never going to use it again, then a lot of my meals include spices. So don't worry too much about that. If you go to Google Oh Kitchen, no, I did loads of my life com. I did loads of my chili. Oh, no. It's alright. Right. And then a little bit of black pepper, please, Ted. Just a very little bit. Okay? I'll just pinch. Yeah, do a pinch, that's a good idea. And mummy, while you're doing that, we'll do a pinch of salt oh, as well. And then we're gonna do a tablespoon oh, oh, oh. Tablespoon. of um, oh, olive oil really as well. Liquid. Yeah, so I use a lot of spice in my recipe, so you can go to googleskitchenlife.com and there are a lot of recipes on there and they will all use spices in them. I might do another one of those Ted actually. I'm going to do two tablespoons of olive oil and then I'm going to do a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar as well. Apple cider vinegar. Like so. And then we are going to mix those ingredients together. I'm going to do it. Okay I'll get a spoon for you sweetheart. I like mix it mix it. I like so Ted is now going to mix those together and that is our masala paste done. Right, so now the masala paste is made, we are going to put the um, curry together into the slow cooker. So here, okay hang on a sec, here I have one onion that I've peeled, sliced and diced. Put all of it. Um, hang on, and I also have um, an inch piece of ginger that I've peeled and diced. I have two cloves of garlic that I've peeled and sliced. I have one red pepper that I removed the core and the stalk from and I sliced. And then I have a carrot and a courgette that I've peeled and I've also sliced as well. So we're going to put all of that into the slow cooker like so. Yep, and what next? Chicken? And then... Gonna put We're going to put oh, the oh, green gonna... beans in. So I've got one large handful of green beans that I'm just going to put in. Make sure you get it all in, um, And this? then I'm going to put oh. tomatoes in. So I'm going to put a tin of tomatoes in there. And I'm going to put 100 ml of coconut cream as well. And then in this bowl oh. here, 
we have um, about 250 mils of chicken stock, like bone broth. And I'm using an ice block. Sure. Hang on a minute. I'm using an ice block because I'm going to defrost this overnight. I'm going to turn it on tomorrow morning. So yeah, That's now we're going to put the um, masala paste in as well. So we're going to tip all of the masala paste in right now. And it smells well, can really we put yummy. The chicken in? No, we're going to leave the chicken until tomorrow. So we're going to let that defrost. Why are you overnight. getting it out then? Because I'm going to let it defrost Ted, overnight. Okay, I'll close so, the bag then. Yeah, that's a good idea. And then I'm just going to mix all of these ingredients together until everything is covered in all of the paste and the coconut cream. And I'm going to let, as I said, I'm going to let the bone broth defrost overnight. I'll it. Okay. Um, and then if you were using cooked chicken, you could put that in now. You could dice the chicken up and put it in now. Or if you, oh sorry, uncooked chicken. And if you're using uncooked chicken, I would put that in tomorrow once you have finished the, once the curry has finished cooking. Um, okay, right. So, as I said, I'm going to leave this overnight and I'll show you what I'm going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow! The ice block has all melted. We left it overnight and the ice block has all melted. So we're going to take the lid off and we're going to stir this now, aren't we? And we're going to stir all of the ingredients together. And then once everything is stirred together, all I'm going to do is turn it on at the wall and then I'm going to set it on low for six hours or if you wanted it a bit quicker you could put it on high for three hours so my tikka masala sauce has been cooking away nicely for about five and a half hours now and i thought just before the end i would sprinkle in some chickpea flour so i'm just going to stir that in and the chickpea flour is just to thicken the sauce slightly um i noticed that the sauce is quite thin I think in the original recipe I said to put brown rice flour in but you can use plain flour if you want to or you could use um, chickpea flour as well or what else could you use? Corn flour too if you wanted to. The reason I use this is because I don't have like any issues with um, chickpea flour. It's quite a neutral flour to use and they use it a lot in Indian cooking as well so and then I'm going to add in my cooked chicken now as well and I'm just going to stir that round and I'm going to leave that on the heat I'm still going to leave that on a low heat for about half an hour and I'm going to go off and cook my rice now so we added the chicken earlier and it's all warm through nicely now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to serve us some of this this is going to be our dinner this evening and it smells delicious I'm really looking forward to it so I'm just going to serve myself some of the tikka masala and then a little bit of the rice as well. Hang on a sec. And that is our dinner done. And I'm really looking forward to that this evening. So that's how you make our slow cooked chicken tikka masala and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier we're off to have this for our dinner now and it smells so good I cannot wait to eat it. So for now that's it from us. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.